Hey everyone, Sargon Kizron here. I work as a technical account manager for VMware by Broadcom now. What I want to go through today is demonstrate just a quick feature in ARIA operations. We're running 8.14.1 here in the home lab. Of course, everything I'm doing here, please always take precaution and test out in a test dev environment before going straight to production. So what I want to cover today is the reclaim feature we have in ARIA operations. From the Launchpad section in ARIOps, we can access it from this area here in Launchpad, or we can go here to the left under um, Optimize. So here we have some pillars here that ARIA Operations has. We're going to want to jump into Capacity. On the left side, if you ever wanted to access Capacity, it would be under Optimize. So I'll just go ahead and jump straight into Capacity. And what we want to do is focus on Reclaim today. We'll click View Now for Reclaim. We have some logical constructs already in place. We've got a primary VC, which is pulling straight from all the vCenters I have added in as adapters into RE operations. And on the bottom here, you could see, hey, there's some potential cost savings. There's X amount of objects with reclaimable resources. I'll dive in here set soon what those reclaimable resources are. And then, of course, you've got a nice little resource counter here on the right as far as CPU, memory, and disk space goes. So starting off at the bottom, powered off VMs, right? We tend to perform decommissions. We power off a VM, we restore, and then we forget about deleting the restored VM, right? Uh, what kind of risk does that bring? Well, if it's powered off, it's not chewing up CPU and memory, but if it accidentally gets powered on, it's now gonna be consuming resources, it's potentially going to cause an IP conflict and then cause an issue with your app. So if there's really no need for that powered off VM and there's no archive plan for it, then just get rid of it, right? Reduce the risk and, you know, have good inventory hygiene in vCenter. So, and here what's nice is you can break down by cluster and review the VMs that have been powered off and for how many days. This can be exported. This can be tackled at a team. Obviously, most environments will have many more than this here. Uh, you can hide, you can exclude one so it's not factored into the costing and the list. So if I know this VM's powered off because I just don't use it all the time, I can simply check here, exclude the VM. And if I ever want to bring it back, I could simply just show excluded VMs and re-include it. Simple as that. And then if you have actions enabled when you configure your vCenter adapter in ARI operations, then you can execute an action to just have that VM deleted, right? So that's what's nice. Something to be careful of also, especially when you're giving out permissions to others in the environment. Now we do have idle VMs. ARI operations does look at VMs that have low CPU percentage, low usage, throughout a certain time and we'll say these are idle VMs and you can reclaim, reclaim and take actions on these resources as well. These should be taken a little bit more carefully, right? Coordinated with different teams within your enterprise. My favorite, snapshots. Um, snapshots have been managed many different ways in the past, manually, sometimes through a script. What's nice now is you can actually come directly in here select the VM and through that actions credentials, go in and just clear the snapshot out. And you can also see the number of days, right? And the amount of storage that snapshot's consuming. These things, of course, snapshots are a risk because you don't want to run into backup issues. Backup vendors generally will need to take a snapshot of a VM for executing the backup and then should go back in and you know clean it up. So you just don't want the backup vendor to take a snapshot on top of a custom snapshot you might have put in, right? So what's nice here, you can, I'll demo this one for instance, this is obviously a vCenter and I'll check this and I'll just do execute the delete snapshot job. And then as we come over to the vCenter, we should see an action come up here shortly saying, hey, remove snapshot, it's already kicking in. And it's using the administrator at vSphere local because that's what I have it configured for. You can configure something you know, um, custom to your environment, of course, with the uh, proper permissions. So while that's going away, we'll jump back into ARIA Ops and Acknowledge. And it even tells you, you can go and check the task. 
orphan discs, right? Those pesky little discs, also known as zombie VMDKs if you have ran RV tools, of course, in your environment. Now, there's no automated action to go in and just delete discs, and it's probably a safeguard, right? This will take some additional digging into, right? Usually when a VMDK is associated with the VM and the VM is powered on, it'll probably use more than likely should not let you delete it. But this is probably a little lonely VMDK sitting in a folder somewhere in a data store and has a really old timestamp, might not be needed, right? And who knows what the reason was, right? Loss of storage, um, uh, loss of storage or connectivity somehow while in the middle of a vMotion, restore, it could be all kinds of reasons. So you can tackle these the same, these will be tackled a little bit more carefully. But again, you could see the reclaimable size of that VMDK and how many days it's sitting around. So this is kind of in a nutshell of reclaim. And by the way, you can also adjust the reclaim settings by clicking here. And then, hey, do you want to see cost set savings? Um, as far as idleness criteria, right? Within each day, VM consumes, right? It's uh, less than or equal to 100. Uh, show the following types of VMs to reclaim. Uh, powered off VMs, right? Show me powered off VMs maybe if they've been greater than 20 days or 365 days, right? Um, idle VMs, you can give some information, you know, give some specifics there. Snapshots, if you have a standard in your environment that we don't want to keep snapshots more than 14 days, you can change that. Same thing with orphan disks. If it's been orphaned for X amount of days. You can click save and that there will save your settings for your reclaim. So that was everything I wanted to show on RE Operations Reclaim. There's a lot more features in here I do want to do little videos on. Hope you enjoyed it.